Further apologies, it seems that I'm actually getting sicker by the days. I can't speak anymore, which sucks. But today I saw this on 31 Thoughts by Elliot Friedman, and I kind of wanted to take a little bit more of a look at this, because it's something that I honestly think is quite ludicrous, to me at least. This is Timothy Liljegren, the Toronto Maple Leafs 2017 first round draft pick, and he's been making a little bit of headlines throughout the past few, let's just say months, just because of injuries, the way he's played, and things like trade rumors, because it's the Leafs. And it's the Toronto media. Obviously, people are going to have trade rumors. Lilligren is a guy whose name comes up quite a bit in these discussions. But obviously, we kind of know that there was a big trade that did transpire over the past few days. Jake Muzzin came over to Toronto in exchange for Carl Grundstrom, the rights to Sean Dursey, as well as a first-round pick in the 2019 draft. Now, this piece here on 31 Thoughts, this was the fifth thought on 31 Thoughts today, talking about Timothy Lilligren. LA and Toronto sparred over 2019 first rounder Rasmus Sandin. The Leafs told anyone who asked they did not want to include him and held firm. They did, however, remain Muzzin's most consistent and aggressive pursuer. Montreal and Tampa Bay were in the picture at times, with the Canadians trying to get him in the aborted Max Pacioretty deal. I was initially surprised that Timothy Lilligren wasn't included. But after looking deeper, teams are down on him right now. He's not yet 20, way too soon to give up. But several scouts were not surprised that the Kings chose Dursey over Lilligren. I saw a lot of people talking about this on Twitter, and honestly, I think Timothy Lilligren is in a weird spot because, in my opinion, the only thing that's really slowed him down has been injuries. But other than that, he's been quite all right. Seriously. He's played 19 games for the Marlies this year, had 8 points in those games. Last year, he had 44 games played in the AHL with the Marlies, 17 points. So the production is roughly the same, just a little bit better this year. But Lilligren is still 19 years old as a right-handed defender playing in the AHL. Sure, he got sent over to the ECHL because he got injured, but... Lilligren is still the same solid player all year whenever he's played. It's kind of weird to me how teams are valuing Dursey and Sandine and all that automatically over Lilligren. Did I mention the guy's right-handed? Like, what the heck is going on here? Why is his trade value dropping so much? And it's not that I want him to get traded or whatever. I think he's going to be a great Leaf and he's going to have a great NHL future. But I think teams are starting to sleep on him, right? Is that fair for me to say? Is that fair for me to assume that people are kind of not looking at Lilligren in the way that he probably should be looked at? I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. I think Lilligren is as good as ever, and he's going to become a good top four for the Toronto Maple Leafs as a very much needed right-handed guy who's solid in his own end, can send up a breakout pass, can get points maybe once in a while, but who does his best job in the defensive zone, skating around with good coverage, and as just a nice guy to have back there to support the goalie. That's Lilligren, and I don't think a few injuries is enough to look at that and say, yeah, Sandine is more valuable. Yeah, I'd rather have Dursey over Lilligren. That's just absurd to me. I'd like to understand why exactly it is that teams are down on him. Look at Jeff Vayette here on Twitter. Take a look at what he said. The death of Timothy Lilligren's hype has been a baffling circumstance to me. I thought it was excellent while playing a big role prior to his ankle injury. Leafs probably don't mind teams liking their other guys more. The idea of NHL scouts having Dursey over Lilligren is baffling when you consider that Lilligren was playing very well under a first pairing, plus power play, plus PK workload on the Marlies, that Dursey didn't make the Marlies out of camp, 
and that Dursey is six months older. He's older. What the heck is going on here? Honestly, I have no idea. Guys, comment down below. What exactly do you think of Timothy Lilligren? What's up with his trade value? And where is this coming from? Honestly, I don't see it. I still think he's a valuable guy to have. And I'd rather have him than, I'd say, Dursey or Sandine. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Hope you guys enjoyed this miniature plus thing. Gaming. And... Bye.